Hi, this is Greg from In5D. A while back, I posted a video and article called Not Ready to Die in Your War. And now that idea has expanded to include Palestine, as more and more people are uniting through love and compassion for one another, and at the same time, are showing their disapproval for wars that they don't want to fight. The highest order of Freemasonry goes by the motto, Ordo Ab Chao, which means order out of chaos. Albert Pike, one of the founding fathers and head of the ancient accepted Scottish Rite of Freemasonry, once wrote in a letter to Giuseppe Mazzini a graphic plan for three world wars that were seen as necessary to bring about a one world or new world order. And I'll just read what it says here. The First World War was to be fought so as to enable the Illuminati to overthrow the powers of the Tsars in Russia and turn that country into a stronghold of the atheistic communism. The differences stirred up by the agent tour of the Illuminati between the British and German empires were used to foment this war. After the war ended, communism was to be built up and used to destroy other governments and weaken religions. World War II was to be fomented by using the differences between fascist and political Zionists. This was to be fought so that Nazism would be destroyed and the power of political Zionism increase so that the sovereign state of Israel could be established in Palestine. During World War II, international communism was to be built up until it equaled in strength that of united Christendom. At this point, it was to be contained and kept in check until required for the final social cataclysm. World War III is to be fomented by using the, the differences the Asian tour of the Illuminati stir up between political Zionists and the leaders of the Muslim world. The war is to be directed in such a manner that Islam and political Zionism, including the State of Israel, will destroy themselves while at the same time, once more divided against each other on this issue, will be forced to fight themselves into a state of complete exhaustion physically, mentally, spiritually, and economically. It goes on to say that a global cataclysm will ensue afterwards. Ordo ab chao, order out of chaos. This is what the global elite are planning, and as I've said many times, once the bottom of the pyramid unites, the rest will collapse. That means we all need to come together, all races, ethnicities, and countries, and unite in the name of love and compassion for one another. Through technologies that have been suppressed, we can rebuild this world based on the best interests of humanity versus trying to exist in a slave society based on greed, corruption, and controlled obsolescence. The people of the world have spoken, and clearly, love outweighs war. Feel free to share or mirror this video. I have a link in the more info section of this video to the article with numerous pictures of people supporting this movement from Israel, Iran, and Palestine. If you haven't subscribed to In5D videos yet, then click the button above this video. That's it for now. This is Greg from In5D.